Heavy bunches of grapes hang on typical Trentino trellises, a reward to the devotion of our wine growers. Here, in the vineyards at the foot of the Dolomites, it is September, and we are ready to reap the fruits of a year's work. Every day, agronomists check the sugar content, acidity, and color of the bunches of grapes. Only when the time is right will these superb bunches be picked and turned into wine. The big day is here at last. The grapes are ripe, dry, and ready for harvesting. A grape harvest is something of a ritual, a holiday involving entire families, but it's also hard work. In our vineyards, the harvest is always hand-picked so that we can select the best bunches. To keep all the fine ingredients intact, our growers bring the grapes to the winery as soon as they are picked. They are weighed and the sugar content is measured before being tasted. The grapes must have the right smoothness on the palate. Only after passing this test will the wine growers entrust the precious consignment to the winery and see their efforts rewarded. The delivery area is full of grape-filled carts. Each bin holds a different grape variety from a specific area. The grapes are separated from the stems before going off to be pressed. During pressing, the juice mixes with yeast, which is a natural part of the skin. The winemaking process has started. Gentle crushing removes the grape skins when making white wine. They are, however, left in the must when making red wines, giving them their typically intense color. Yeast feeds on the grape juice transforming sugars into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide. Fermentation is a natural occurrence. But when making good wine, it is the care devoted to it that makes the difference. During this delicate stage, the must is never left unattended. We watch over it, day and night, listening carefully to the rumblings in the tanks and monitoring the temperature. The sugars gradually turn into alcohol and fermentation stops. It is now time to separate the free-run juice from the skins through the racking process. The warm autumn must is already wine, but it's certainly not mature yet, being too fruity and cloudy. It needs racking again to make it clearer and let it breathe. Tartaric precipitation and malolactic fermentation also need to be supervised. These processes are not easy to explain, so we'll just have to take the winemaker's word for it. Our wine reaches maturity by the end of the winter. More structured wines follow a different process. They are aged in wood, tasted at various intervals and stored undisturbed in low light. It is during this long and fascinating aging process that wine develops its personality. Our winemakers have to find the right combination of aging in steel or wood, in large or small barrels, or in new or used wine barriques. After aging, our wine is ready for bottling 
Cellaring in glass bottles gives wine the time it needs to acquire its bouquet. The fragrances and aromas that take us back to where it all started and where the story will start all over again.